Hi friends, welcome back to my session. And in this session, we are going to discuss about the service connection. So generally, the service connection is used to make a connection between the ADV portal means Azure DevOps portal and Azure portal. So if we make to run any script in the Azure DevOps portal, it need to create the services or infrastructure in the Azure portal. Na. So in order to make that, we need to establish some kind of connection between those two portals. So how we will do with the help of the service connection, we can be able to make the connection between AWS portal as well as Azure portal. So how the service connection will be done, everything we are going to discuss in this session. Okay. First of all, login into the portal, portal.azure.com. This is the portal where we are going to create our services at the same time, our infrastructure as well. And we have one more portal that is called Edivo portal where we are going to create the pipelines. The pipeline is nothing but sequence of tasks. So if one task is completed, the another task will run. And if that uh, another task has been completed, then it will trigger the another task which need to be finished. Okay. So right now I have the two portals. One is Edivo portal and the second one is Azure portal. Fine. Right now, in our last project, we had already created the project A. This is for lab purpose. And okay, right now, I just want to check the service connection. Just click on the project settings. Okay. Here, you need to check where the service connection is. Just click on service connection here. Do you have any service connection here? No. Up to now, I didn't create any service connection from my Edivo portal to Azure. So if I want to, how I, I will do everything, I will show it to you in the class. The steps which you need to follow, as I already mentioned in this notepad, notepad, you just need to follow the steps, then you will be able to create the service connection. Okay, fine. These are the steps. Please have a look on this. Okay, fine. So right now I'm going to create new service connection. So what are the things you have the different different options are there based on your requirement you can check. So right now what I am going what I am checking Azure Resource Manager next. What are the type of connection you are looking authentication method. Right now I am checking the service principle manual because of I just want to create the manual things. So that's why I just selected service principle manual next. Environment. What is environment? We have the two five types of environments other Azure Cloud, Azure China Cloud. As you know, the world is different and China is different. If world is using something, but China is China will never ever use that product. Suppose almost almost all the persons in the world are using the Microsoft, but Azure is not at all using it is not recommended to use Microsoft in China. Instead of they recommended, they can use Azure, China Cloud or something, Alibaba Cloud. They have different different types of cloud technologies are there. They will use instead of using the uh, market trending. Okay. Right now for my lab purpose, I am going to select the Azure Cloud. Okay. Fine. Subscription. As I have subscription. So first of all, what needs the subscription ID? Subscription name. So where I can find what is uh, which portal I need to connect my ADV portal. This is the this is the account which I need to connect my Edivo portal. Okay, where I can the subscription name and just go to subscription. Where the subscription is? If you didn't have to see, just type the name which you are looking for. Then it will be available to you. Fine. So here, what is subscription ID? This is the subscription ID. Just copy the thing and just paste here. Control V. Fine. So what the next thing is required? Subscription name. Copy. Paste. Okay. What is the service principal ID? What is the service principal ID? Yes, please have a look. Subscription. We can go to Azure portal and subscription. It is a if it is a free trial eligible, then you can copy free. Otherwise, if it is a pay as you go, then you can copy the same and service principal ID from where we can get from Azure Active Directory. I need to create one app registration. 
means I need to register one application. So in that registration, the client entry will be generated. I need to copy and paste the things. So how that will be done? Everything I will show to you. Go to the portal and go to the home and check for AAD Azure Active Directory. It will show continue searching in Microsoft Enter ID. I hope as all of you know about the Active Directory. Active Directory is nothing but the user's directory. It is a group of objects. It provides the roles. It provides the uh, groups, roles, whatever the things which we need to control the restrictions, devices, everything will be managed by the Active Directory only. Okay, fine. Just go to App Registration. In App Registration, there is any other apps click on all apps there is no apps which is registered in my azure portal so i just want to register one application okay click on new registration what is my app name uh, application one okay application one is my i just want to re, uh, register the application one as a name application name okay just register and supported accounts type accounts in this organization directly means this application will be accessible to the accounts in this organization only otherwise accounts in any organization directly from it will be accessible to any organization means any account from any organization so there are different different options are there so based on your requirement you need to select these options but for my lab purpose account in this organization directory only is enough so just application one just remember application one is the name of your application okay fine register it has been successfully registered here right now where you are in application one okay right now you are in application one so here you can find the application client id so client id just copy it service principal is that one client id fine so tenant id here there is a really tenant id you just need to copy the same and tenant id you just need to paste here and at the same time you need a service principal key how that will be generated i will show it to you go to certificates and secrets and choose and create new values copy and you need to paste here so where it will be right so go to azure portal just go to certificates and secrets here we have any secrets no client certificate create so key one okay add it will generate some value it will give the key so you just need to copy the key okay this is the value okay just paste here okay service connection ADO to portal this is optional and everything we had filled now Oh, subscription ID is uh, different. What is subscription ID? I mean, screen tech. No, no, no. Application ID is different. So, just a moment. Subscription ID. This is the subscription ID. So, maybe wrongly it has been pasted. So, this is the subscription ID. Okay. Fine. We are selecting the Azure Cloud and we had provided the subscription ID, subscription name, service principal ID, service principal key and tenant ID. Okay. It need to show. Azure Cloud only. So what went wrong? What went wrong here? So I think everything is okay, but why it has been not accepting? Just please have a quick look on it. So right now I just moved into the
okay and click on the surface subscription ID yes as I already fine fine okay Azure Cloud subscription ID subscription name service principal ID and the key is also provided that perfect it will fail yes why it has been failed because of in order to access if i want to access if you suppose for example if i want to access your account then you need to give the permission uh, oh, oh so and so person is known to me just please uh, allow him to authenticate my to authenticate my into my portal or my account unless you provided access to anyone to access your account it will be not possible for anyone to access your account so how in this scenario how i will provide the access to the edivo portal in order to authenticate themselves into the azure portal so that will be done with the help of the subscription in subscription go to subscription okay in subscription just click on the subscription what we have okay and go to IAM IAM stands for identity access management I am here to create a role which provides a permission ADO will be able to access the portal okay role assignments click on role assignments click on new role add new role assignment so i am going to select the contributor so who is the member i need to create the member as i already for whom i need to provide the access the application as i register one application now for that application i am providing the access okay so what is the application name application one yes this is the application where i registered so i just want to provide the access because of after generating this after registering this application only the tenant id or client id will be generated so that's why i am providing access to the edw portal like as i selected the role as a contributor means it will be able to create the infrastructure or services as requested every time it will not ask the credentials okay review and as a so review and as it so here application one is being added as a contributor okay right now it has been added as a contributor fine just if you click here verify right now it will be succeeded because of as i already provided authentication and authorization yes succeeded verify and save fine how to check here adv to azure portal service connection has been successfully established so this is the thing this is the way to create the service connection between the adv portal and the azure portal okay guys hope you guys enjoyed my session thank you for joining into my session we will get back to you in the with the new topic in the next session okay until signing off thank you bye bye